This video is about the division property of zero and dividing by zero. It's from our section on multiplying and uh, dividing whole numbers. So let's get started. Um, this is from our note sheets. And if you take a look, uh, the division property of zero, in order to kind of understand why a number divided by, um, why zero divided by number equals zero, we need to recall the missing, um, we need to call this rule the missing factor approach idea which again stated if if a divided by b is equal to c then what's true is um, a is equal to b times c so we have that so why would zero divided by a number equal zero well let's let's ask the questions let's pretend we did not know what that answer is so we would say zero divided by some number is some question mark zero divided by a some value is equal to something what is that something well if this is true then what else has to be true is that zero is equal to a times the question mark and so in order for a times the question mark to be equal to zero um, what needs to happen is then for that to be true the question mark has to be equal to zero so therefore we have this conclusion, a divided by, I mean, zero divided by a is equal to zero. So that's kind of a straightforward approach, why zero divided by any number is zero. Now, we have a more complicated situation here. How about this other question of, um, this other question of a divided by zero? What does that equal? A lot of people want to think that it has to equal zero, maybe one. Um, so what we have here is, well, let's play that same game that we have up here. So if this is true, then what we have is then um, a is equal to zero times some number. And so in that case, what can that uh, some number be? Um, a times what is e means zero times what number e something equals a. And in this case here, like it said here in case number one, um, in case number one, um, this question mark, put a number in there, one, two, three, zero times one. It would have to be, um, anything here would have to be zero, so it can't. There's nothing times zero to give you A. And so therefore we make a statement here that A divided by zero is undefined. And so in that case, um, there is no answer. A divided by zero is undefined because in this case, what can the question mark be? Um, if you do some examples, zero times one equals zero, zero times two equals zero. So no matter what number you put in here, you, you can't get, uh, you're not going to get A, you'll just get some zero. And then this case two, what if someone says this situation, how about zero, so that was case one, how about case two here, how about zero divided by zero, right, zero divided by zero, a lot of people think the answer should be equal to one, now if that's true, right, if that's true, then what do we know here, we know that zero is equal to, um, if that's true, then we know zero is equal to zero times one, you say, oh yeah, that does work, it equals zero, but then actually this would work for any number. Take a look. Zero divided by zero is equal to two. Then you would then say, like from here to here, then you would say zero is equal to zero times two in terms of that. And so that can't be, that is true, but then zero divided by zero can't be two and it can't be one. And then we could continue to play that game. If it equals three, does it that then this has to be true it is so because again we have multiple answers here zero divided by zero equals one two three we call it undefined um, undefined anything divided by zero is undefined it's that term there that's it